Hello guys, welcome back to TechDoz and in this video we will see maximum erasure value problem which is from lead code number 1695. Let's now look at the problem statement. In this problem you are given an array of positive integer nums and want to erase a subarray containing unique elements. The score you get by erasing the subarray is equal to the sum of its element. Return the maximum score you can get by erasing exactly one subarray. And array B is called to be a subarray of A if it forms the contiguous subsequence of A, that is, if it is equal to A at L to R and all the elements are included from L to R for some L comma R range. Right. If you look at the first example, then in this case you have four, two, four, five, six. So uh, I mean we need to find out the subarray, contiguous subarray where the sum is maximum. So if you start extending the subarray starting at index 1, then you will only have 0, 1. And in this case, the sum is equals to 6. If you start extending the subarray from index 1, you can include all the items. And in this case, the sum will be 4 plus uh, 2, 6 plus 5, 11 plus 6, 17. And if you start extending from the other items from index 2 till the end, from 3 till the end and from 4 till the end, the sum will be less okay so out of all the possible sum that means you try to extend from each of the starting point and whatever is the maximum sum from each of the starting point that you get out of all of them 17 will be the maximum and so 17 is given as the answer okay so i hope the problem is straightforward to understand if you look at the constraint then the nums dot length is 10 to the power of 5 which means that the number of items can be 10 to the power of 5 and if you try to find out all possible subarrays starting from let's say 4 then how many subarrays will be present n number of subarrays if you try to find out all the subarrays starting with the second index it is going to be n minus 1 from the third index it is going to be n minus 2 and so on right so from the last starting point you will get only one subarray which is just one element subarray and so the total number of subarrays will be n into n plus 1 by 2 and that will be order of n square Right, so order of n square is the number of subarrays and the n value is maximum 10 to the power of 5. So if you take n square algorithm then it is going to be 10 to the power of 10. We know that 10 to the power 8 is a limit for 1 second and we have to solve in computations less than 10 to the power of 8. So this is not going to work. Looking at this we need to solve the algorithm in order of n or order of n log n right. We need to solve the problem in these complexities not more than n log n possibly. Each of the item here nums i is 10 to the power of 4. So if you add all the items like all the numbers are positive in this case. So if you add all the items then the maximum number that you can get is 10 to the power 4 added 10 to the power 5 times which will be 10 to the power of 9 which is less than your integer maximum. So since it is less than integer maximum, you can take 32 bit integer in this case. 32 bit integer is fine. Whereas if you had this, let's say something like 10 to the power of 6. Okay, max number can be 10 to the power of 6. Then the sum could have been 10 to the power of 11, which will be greater than integer maximum. So 32 bit integer will not be able to contain those kind of numbers. You have to take 64 bit number, which is long, long. Okay, so you have to careful about reading the constraint this will give you an idea of what is the expected time complexity as well as the data types that you should take either a simple integer or long long integers right so having seen this problem we know that we cannot generate all possible subarrays so what we will do instead is we will be trying to track the repetition of items that means if there are any repeated items in a particular subarray and how do you track that out we need to use either a set or a hash map to track the number of elements that we have seen is there any repetition on that so i will simply be taking a map you can also take a, a set and try to do that so we will be taking a kv pair and the key is going to be the value value of the element that we are seeing and maybe i will take a boolean flag that if it is present or not present you can take a set and, and try to do that as well so in this case i will be uh, trying to increase the size as much as I can starting from zero and moving to the right but I should remember my end point both the end points so for that I will be taking the left pointer and the right pointer and I will be maintaining a subarray sum also called the window sum 
which is equals to zero and we will have the maximum sum as well which will be tracking out what is the maximum sum that we have seen now since all the numbers are positive i will be starting with zero i could have started with minus infinity as well so let's start with minus infinity okay first item when it comes i will be checking in the map is it present in the map no so i will be inserting four with the with a flag true and i will be adding this into the window sum and the maximum sum will be four because four is larger than minus infinity and then we will move the right pointer to the right when two comes then i will check if it is present in the map it is not present so i will be inserting it as true and add this to the window sum and the maximum sum will be maximized to six again i will be moving the right pointer to the right four is it present in the map yes it is present so what i will do is i will not move forward i will stop here so right pointer has stopped at index two okay now i need to move the left pointer to the right hand side unless the force entry has been removed okay so if you move it only one time like if you had moved this left pointer to the right then four will be lost and since now it is going out of the window like currently the window is 4 comma 2 in which case the right pointer is pointing just to the next item of the window and the left pointer is pointing to the last item of the window okay so when the left pointer is moving to the right then the window is already going from r minus 1 to l so this item is going outside of the window okay so this item has to be removed so the window sum will be adjusted from 6 to 6 minus 4 which is going to be 2 okay and uh, once you move forward then force entry has to be removed and yes it, this entry has to be removed so i will be removing it you can make it false or you can remove it okay so i will be removing it and now i am at 1 okay now you will check can i insert this uh, right pointer so the force entry is not present so yes it can be inserted so 4 with the true will get inserted and then you will be incrementing the sum from 2 to 2 plus 4 which is 6 6 is the same as the maximum so no update again move the right pointer to the right 5 is this present in the map no so mark a true entry for it and add the value so from 6 it becomes 11 and the maximum will become 11 again you move right pointer to the right 6 entry is not present so add another 6 to it with a true value and 6 will get added and this becomes 17 and 17 is more so it will get adjusted right now right pointer goes till the end and it will have to stop whenever right goes out of bound you will stop and say that 17 is the maximum sum of the sub array okay that means we found the maximum score as 17 so i hope it is clear if i can just modify this example and say that i had one extra element let's say present at index 5 and uh, i will be including item 4 here or let's say item 5 here okay let's include item 5 then what happens in this case in this case uh, you you will see that this left pointer is currently at 1 and when you try to insert this 5 you cannot insert because 5's entry is already present so unless 5's entry is removed you cannot add this 5 so you will start moving the left pointer to the right hand side when you move it to the right hand side 2 will be lost and the sum will be reduced by 2 it becomes 15 okay and when the sum gets decremented the maximum cannot get updated right now you see 2's entry will be removed now can we add 5 no again 5 entry is still present so i'll remove this 4's entry now and the sum will be updated to 11 okay and then we will move forward so 4's entry will be removed as well now can we add 5's entry no 5's entry is still present so I will be removing this third entry and move forward so five sum will get adjusted and this will become six okay sum becomes six and the fives entry will get removed now the left pointer is pointing at four can i add the fives entry yes now fives entry is not present in the map i will add it and so i can just mark it as true and move move forward my sum will be adjusted from six to eleven and the maximum will not get updated right as soon as the right pointer goes out of bound we will stop so this is how the process will go 17 will still be the answer in in that case as well right so in this entire process i will assume that all the map operations erase and uh, insertion lookup is all order of one and therefore the time complexity that we take is order of n because we are iterating for all the items exactly one time and the map lookup erase and everything is order of one that's what i'm assuming and the space complexity is going to be order of n due to the hash map where all the elements may get inserted in case all the items are unique in the array 
then all the elements will get inserted right so i hope this entire technique is clear let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code you can see that uh, we are given the numsare and uh, we will be taking the left and right pointer starting from zero and the uh, n will be the uh, array size map will be taken with the value and uh, the boolean will be the index or you can say is it present or not present kind of a flag so the name is value index you will take the max sum initialized to a minus infinity or integer minimum and the window sum so this is a two pointer sliding window approach right so we will just be iterating until the right goes out of bound and if i see a value uh, which is actually present in the hash map then i will be removing it from the hash map and then adjusting the window sum and moving the left to the right hand side okay otherwise if the current item that means the right item is actually not present in the hash map then it will just get inserted so adjust the window sum add the right item and then add an entry into the hash map for this item x add a true value and then update the right pointer to right plus one and maximize the maximum now maximization of the maximum will only happen when the right pointer moves to the right hand side because all the elements are positive and once we go till the end of the array we will be returning the maximum as the result so i hope this entire approach is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible see you guys in the next video thank you